George Soros is wanting to slaughter more than 100,000 Haitians by means of an arranged starvation, as huge quantities of occupants in Haiti are expected to be kicked out of the nation over an absence of assets and recharging their home licenses. In the following couple of months these Haitians are relied upon to make the slippery adventure to Puerto Rico on weak water crafts which specialists claim will prompt starvation of about all who endeavor at .com reports. More than 140,000 Haitians right now dwelling within Dominican soil are slated to be requested to pay $350 to re-establish their living arrangement grants something which most won't have the capacity to do as the economy has industrialized quickly lately, crushing out sugar field workers and their children. Since the greater part of these Haitians grew up communicating in Spanish, they are probably not going to come back to French-speaking Haiti. Haiti has declined to allow travel permits to everything except 30,000 people, referring to its status as a fizzled state unfit to check individuals' character in declining to perceive its own particular individuals. In the coming months, more than 100,000 Haitians will be compelled to choose in the event that they need to come back to Haiti or in the event that they need to attempt their fortunes on a ramshackle pontoon, making it to Puerto Rico and along these lines U.S. soil, where they could claim to be stateless. Most of the Haitians slated to be given a leave request will probably set out toward Puerto Rico, since the globalists have been pursuing the war against the very center of Haiti's humankind starving the populace all at once. 100,000 individuals won't make the outing to starvation in Haiti, they'll surge Puerto Rico, an island where a divider can't be worked to shield from the coming attack. The Department of Homeland Security has effectively marked an automaton arrangement with the Dominican government to watch the waters between Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, yet without a divider amongst Haiti and the Dominican Republic. The homeland should be completely open to a populace of starving individuals only one start far from lighting a mass migration of scriptural extents. The desperate Puerto Rican government won't have the capacity to manufacture displaced person camps for even 5,000 individuals, not to mention 100,000. The whole island faces the possibility of transforming into a FEMA outcast camp with the populace oppressed by border patrol monitors with close military law powers. On the off chance that Puerto Rico does not soon turn into a state, there is no chance that it will be acknowledged with a populace of devastated Spanish speakers of Haitian plunge, particularly as the local populace faces terminal decrease. The coming mass migration of Spanish-speaking Haitians from the Dominican Republic guarantee to reshape the Caribbean in more noteworthy routes than has been seen since the Spanish-American War of 1898, and one incidentally sunk ship is all it would take to set the area ablaze.